Hi, my name is Carmen. I am a caseworker as well as an emergency funding focal point in ICMC Kuala Lumpur. The target group that we work with are Rohingya and um, other refugees in Malaysia, and they are survivors that have sexual and gender-based violence backgrounds. So refugees can come from various backgrounds and different situations that can lead them to come to Malaysia to seek refuge. Um, so they are at risk of extreme violence or human rights violation. Uh, or it could be that they are fleeing from sexual predators um, in their country of origin, or that they can no longer feel safe or maybe persecuted for who they are and what they believe in, for example, um, their ethnicity, their religion, and their political opinions as well. This journey of wanting a better future, however, can sometimes expose them to different types of dangers. It could be exploitation or human trafficking. Um, so, the reason why it's so essential to support them within ICMC is because there is a heightened and added vulnerability on top of being a refugee. So, uh, for example, with domestic violence cases where survivors are constantly being pursued by the perpetrator in Malaysia, so they're at risk at being uh, harmed again, or some refugees can't even afford medical treatment or medical assistance because they can't afford the expenses. Um, as for unregistered survivors, uh, some of them can't even make a police report to ensure their own safety. So when ICMC comes in to provide case management service, uh, we meet their fundamental needs. We protect, protect their rights as refugees while we equip them with tools that can empower a sense of resilience in them, uh, giving them a voice, be able to share their experience and rebuild their life from their own. One of the reasons why I find that um, emergency funding um, and financial assistance in ICMC is so essential is because we cater to survivors' fundamental needs. So we essentially give them a power of choice. And what I mean by this is that um, we've seen a lot of cases where survivors choose to, survivors of sexual and gender-based violence, go back to their husbands or their, their perpetrators um, because they can't support themselves financially or they, they, can, they can't find a way to earn a living for themselves. So when emergency funding comes in, we allow them a space to park aside these financial concerns and focus on and prioritizing their own safety. Let's focus on creating a concrete plan, a concrete future plan to help themselves um, earn a living and, and stand independently on their own two feet in the future. It's a lot about um, empowerment. During the house visits, uh, when we see them in person, we empower them to uh, live independently, to find a job uh, so that um, so that we can track their progress and their plans for the future, so that by the end of the disbursements or the emergency funding for that particular case, they are able then to secure a full-time job, for instance. She's a young single mother with children. Um, she had relocated to many places uh, because her husband was constantly in pursuit of her. During emergency funding, uh, where there's a constant follow-up and constant empowerment uh, for the survivor. She was able to secure a full-time job by, by the last disbursement that she received from ICMC. And the thing that really um, touched me was when we did her client feedback and satisfaction form, and she mentioned that uh, ICMC emergency funding team is like her pillar of strength. And um, it, it, was, it was a very nice feeling to be uh, seen in that light. I've looked up to a lot of people in my life and called a lot of people that in my life, but I've never, I never thought that I could be that for someone else. So it was a, a nice feeling to, to be reminded why I was in the humanitarian line in the first place. It would be nice uh, 
that during this time we receive donations because then it allows more funding to go into into that uh, that cause um, and to allow for uh, for teams like us, like emergency funding, to continue reaching out to more and more survivors. Mm -hmm.